Elite Facts presents Bizarre Animal Mating Rituals 12. The whiptail lizard consists of entirely females. Think about that for a second. Not a single male exists. So how do they reproduce, you ask? Well, they do it in a fairly strange and futuristic way by making exact clones of themselves. That isn't to say there isn't some time to enjoy themselves in the baby-making department. A female lizard ready to fertilize her eggs will get another one to dry hump her to stimulate them to become alive. Weird. 11. Did you know snails are hermaphrodites and therefore have both male and female genitalia? Well, now you do. That doesn't mean they can reproduce on their own like our friends the whiptail lizard. On the contrary, they still need a partner to get things going. And the ritual is crazy. One snail will shoot the other in the head with a dart of sorts, a calcified spike that will begin an exchange of body fluids. Once the exchange has happened, both snails are then pregnant and toddle off ready to give birth and do night feeds and whatever else snail moms do. 10. The red-sided garter snake is a thing of beauty to look at, and you'd think it'd be a catch if it was in the human world, the sexy blonde in the corner of the bar giving you glances. But that's the exact opposite. You see, this snake is partial to large group gatherings that could get to 30,000 in number. As things get hotter outside, the female snake will emerge and up to 100 males will form a mating ball, which is exactly what it sounds like, a mass of snakes trying to get it on. 9. Banana slugs are aptly named because of their bright yellow glow and the size of their penises are also the size of an average banana, which is 8 inches. With this in mind, a couple of problems arise. The first is that they need to find a mate the same size as that. And the second is the mate could chew it off. The chewing will occur if the mate is bigger than the package of the male. So in the banana slug world, size does matter. Hey. The bonobo monkey is your everyday chimp. Eats fruit, swings from trees, throws its poop, and says hello to others with sex. Wait. What? Huh? That's right. Bonobo sex is the equivalent of a human saying hi. <laughs> or even to celebrate food being found. They're also the only species to have face-to-face -face intercourse, other than humans. 7. The earwig mating ritual doesn't need much explaining. The earwig has two penises. They're so delicate an appendage that one is spare in case the first one used breaks. Sounds handy to us. 6. Flatworms are like snails. They're hermaphrodites, and this is where things get difficult. In order to be the man in the mating ritual, the worms will need to duel one another with their penises. The loser is the first to be penetrated, and they'll become the woman, kind of like a knight in prison. 5. How do you overcome the massive problem of thousands of needles when it comes to bumping uglies? Well, porcupines have come up with a solution. They pee on each other. That is a six-foot stream of whiz hitting their ladies in the face and getting them ready for some sweet loving. Four. The anglerfish is possibly how many women feel about men anyway. It does nothing its whole life except try to eat and reproduce. The problem is it can only do these things with the help of a female. You see, once a male anglerfish matures, its whole digestive system stops working. So, it hunts down a female, bites her, and attaches onto her forever. He's a bug that can't be swatted. When she becomes fertile, he releases his sperm and the deed is done. 3. Hyenas are often labeled scavengers and an animal that is the scourge of the pride lands when in fact, they're more accomplished hunters than most big cats. The setup of the pack is similar to most animals, where an alpha male and female reproduce. The thing with the female hyena is she has reproductive organs to rival the males. That's right, this is a female in heat. 
The reason is down to her genes, with the female passing on seriously high amounts of hormones that make the females extremely aggressive, and those hormones need to manifest themselves somehow. Another downside is this is where the newborn pups emerge from, too. The male, however, has the easiest time of it all. Two. Hippos are disgusting and fat and gross. Their way of mating is even worse. When the male senses a female's readiness to mate, he starts to propel dung everywhere he can. Apparently, this is irresistible to female hippos, and the further he can fling his feces, the better. We must warn you against trying this yourself, though. One. The male cichlid is the master of getting what he wants from life. Swimming around without a care in the world, his life couldn't be easier. Ah. The female, however, has a different role to play. She'll lay her eggs and then carry them round in her mouth. The males will sense this and purposely swim above females with spots designed to emulate her eggs. I think you can see where this is going. The female then tries to grab the eggs and before she knows it, her mouth is full of fertilized eggs. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.